Spatial dynamics, you might have really heard about it through the Waldorf School education. A lot of the teachers, the pe movement teachers and games teachers do this. And uh, so that's where my daughter went to a camp last week. And it was transformative, super transformative. But I've been learning that same stuff from Theodora, and she's been learning in midwifery from me. And so she's been reporting how she takes her midwifery into her, her Waldorf school in Encinitas. Uh, th does she announce it? Oh, no. 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 She just practices it. No, no. Okay. Does she verbalize it, talk about it in oh, front of me? them? No, no, to them. Uh, to a certain group of women there, yes. Okay. Not to everyone. Yeah. And so. Because they have that great principle, you know, that everything starts and ends with the founder. Steiner, yeah. Yeah. And anything I, new, uh, you've got to be very suspicious you of. Know, it. You know, I discovered that. There are certain elements of the Waldorf school you that are that? like that. I opened the big one. And it depends okay. on what school yeah, I go to. Oh. Her school, they do Steiner quotes and they read they read Steiner like they'll they'll read a passage in the morning and they'll reflect on it. How students do it. But they don't necessarily hold to him as the Well which school is this? The one in Long Beach? No, she's in Encinitas. And Sanitas. Yeah, it's called the Sanderling Waldorf School. It's related to the... You're uh, quite right. It does depend upon the people who are running the program. Because mm -hmm. when we started it in Orange County, we deliberately only gave lip service to Steiner. Mm -hmm. And then there was a obviously a big turnover. And in that terrible turnover, Oh, the anthroposophists. Anthroposophists came yes. in. And uh -huh. Let's go back and keep in. I've related to a lot of these people. Yeah. And they, they are ritual quote machines, like walking Bible references in mm -hmm. some sense. Uh, and some of them are a bit more dogmatic and other ones. Yeah. It's just one of many tools they use. Like yeah. they are truly more open to wisdom beyond Steiner. Well, because in Steiner, he, you know, uh, there are parts which are true. Which are very Hellenic. Oh, he seems like if this but, dude was real, like everything they say about what he studied and learned and read, yeah. and because he was basically a Theosophist. <clears throat> He's, his roots are with that group. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. The 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 philosophical side behind it. Those people might be stuck, but the actual things that I see the students going through, it's transformative. Those kids come out qualitatively different than the students that I produce through... Depending entirely upon the teacher. That's another thing. It all depends yeah. upon the teacher. Yeah, you have I, a good teacher, you have a good school, you have a good education, you have a lousy teacher, you have a lousy I education. hear this from Theodora. This, this is what we discuss. Is she's like, some teachers are out of touch with themselves, mainly, and the problems that they have in their lives they drag into their classrooms. And because they're so family-related oriented, it's the whole gauntlet of playing out their yeah. problems. And yeah. See, they have a myth. The myth is they have a circle of teachers, <laughs> and they presumably have the skills to rectify any kind of problem teachers mm -hmm. have in their classroom and personally. Some, you mean like a college? They have a college of yeah. College of teachers. Yeah. Some of the schools have that, and it, yeah. it ain't working. <clears throat> This is a committee that Theodora is on in Encinitas, which is like, a, they have a different name. They haven't developed the college yet. They're too young of a school. They've only been around for like eight years or nine years, something like that. So they have another committee. You know, these schools are run by committees. and But their committees also don't necessarily get into the problems that no. deep. They bring them up, but uh, they don't necessarily push them. Do they have any uh, white elephants or... Uh financial backers? Oh no, they're not not necessarily. Yeah. I mean they have enough to get by, yes. But they're still working to like buy their own campus and so and like they don't they're not necessarily staffed the way they should be staffed. There really are no administrators at a Waldorf school. There's a couple. But they're not administrators like we think. Their school doesn't even have those. So a lot of people wear a lot of different hats. So See. But the tuition is like 20 grand. See whether you can get them on this one idea. Look for abandoned schools. Mm -hmm. 
that are no longer functioning because of the relocation of families over the years. Uh -huh. then, I will ask them. Lease them with the option to buy. Mm. Okay. That's how we got this jewel over here. <laughs> what a great place for a school. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll bring it up. Yeah. We'll That's how up. we did it. Yeah. Tried to persuade my daughter to leave public school and go into that system. <laughs> like she's seventh grade, it's difficult. And that after high she had maybe. the real experience. She told the she told the counselors there, I could see myself going to Waldorf school. Because you really do, the, the kids just feel different. There's this cattiness that occurs, you know, in public school, and there's an entitlement that rises up from... Oh, yeah. Hey. You know, if you have a school with 15 in a class versus et cetera in public yeah. schools, you can do something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can I also hear, ruin them. <laughs> they talk so much about their kids and their relationships and their parents, and they talk about what they're going through and how to help them develop. This is like, they like really do the time to reflect on the nurture of the kids' souls. So what plan did they have for the high schools when they graduated out of their schools? Uh, well, the ones in Encinitas and the ones in San Diego go to the Waldorf School of San Diego. Mm. Not all of them. I recently went to their school play, their 12th grade school play, and to the graduation because we were a son Drake who you've met a few times. Uh, this kid's like a virtual stunt. He's like an amazing kid. He went, I saw his graduation. Behind you. And it's out. I went to his graduation, and a bunch of kids who we went to Wilder School from kindergarten to eighth grade showed back up, and they had gone to either local community, local high schools. Some of them go to prep schools, mm -hmm. like they have expensive prep schools, and <laughs> that, that kids go on to. Their graduating class had 19 in it, 19 students in it that graduated. So, mm. and. As I spoke to him about his, I've known him for three years since he was a sophomore. And again, some of the classes and some of the teachers are really incredible. And some That's of them, true. he just can't stand. So, And one of the ones that was really incredible, their math and physics teacher, uh, is leaving the school. Because he's going to have a, he's going to get married and wants to have a family. And his, his salary virtually doubled by going to another school. Cool. Yeah, so salary doubles, benefits, you actually get full medical and physical benefits where they get kind of like a, uh, yeah. a stipend. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, retirement also, which they get four, matching 401 pays. So, and they do a lot of work. Like, a Waldorf teacher's work, it's more like a true lifestyle. Like, they're at that school all so much, all, all day mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so his work was cut in half, and his salary was doubled. <laughs> but so it was also the quality of his experience is going to change. So, but those schools are really like they don't—they have a hard time keeping teachers. <laughs> I can't imagine why. For for financial reasons and for quality, because they have no—they're a no-cause fire school. Like when you sign the contract, if they want to get rid of you. They don't need to have a cause. They say. We don't need you anymore. So they'll get rid of teachers that they don't think are good. And every summer I hear about teachers that are coming and going. You know, so their model doesn't really, their model of staying with kids and nurturing them for a long time, <laughs> they rarely have a, a, a class that keeps the same teacher from first to eighth grade. Hey, that, that's your first year. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that they can get another model? Really, my daughter had one for eight years and that's been the problem of her life. Oh yeah, that person, yeah. did they become a, a new uh, a surrogate, like, surrogate, like surrogate family ma member, right? Sure, sure, yeah, like. and more influential. <laughs> mm. Well, mm. it's a sword that cuts both ways, huh? 
Yeah. I understand you got a dream. Yes, I how, have one. How about passing it around? Yeah, I have one too. Ah, really yeah. came true. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Thanks. Can you, yeah. uh, can you sit to the left or right up there? Maybe switch the fiber, move your chairs or something so I can get you guys next to the I'm thinking why he, why should sit so close to the other side? Yeah. They want to do the same frame. I'm, I'm the second person who said this. Now, this is the third person. Hang on you can sit over there, right? That's what he wants. Can I just sit where I am? That's uh, what I wonder. It's not that far away. Closer to his microphone and easy to get you both in the camera shot. If you're really uncomfortable doing that, then that's fine. No. We can switch back after you Well, you can't exactly. I've got to get rid of that chair, I guess. What yeah. chair? Uh, I heard this one wasn't good. Put it like upside down or something <coughs> so somebody doesn't sit on the track. Which dream are you doing? Which dream is she doing? The first. Oh. The second is mixed. I don't know what mixed means. But go ahead. If you read it, you'll see it. She woke up in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. It's mixed, therefore. So we're doing the first part, oh, okay. which is 
has its own centra, center or centrality and unity. What issue do you see going on? What issue? Mm -hmm. What issue do you see? The, a lot of focus on, on the audit that's being done. You're not answering the question. What's the audit issue? Barbara? Oh, sorry. I, I don't see what the issue is. OK. Eldar? I just need a minute. Longer. I'll wait a minute. Do you have a watch? What? Do you have a watch? Yeah, we'll time him. He just asked for a minute, huh? so time him. <laughs> you were being accurate, were you not sure? Yes, yes. Uh, That's yes. 45 seconds. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what do you see as the issue? Um, I'm not dumb. Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jeff? Jeff? I'm not finished either. Some issue of something being taboo or not. That's not an issue. Good. You're, just, you're picking on anyway. singular issues. Singular issues. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, she really made some changes and has come out. She was doing some nice things. Yeah. What issue do you see? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or there's part of the dream I, I, that seems to be missing, like she hasn't spoken about something yet, and I think she'll make clear. But I think it has to do with uh, Regina's scene of this woman's growth. Yeah, okay. Like the real effect of it. Look, look here. This is this is an analysis question. Okay. In terms of the whole dream, does it break itself up into divisions? What is the significance of the divisions? What is peculiar about the one versus the other? Come on, this is analysis. There is like uh, three stages. All right. There's. There's like a past where she went to some Pierre session and did some midwife talks. That's in there. Then she gets this idea to do an, an audit. She does, and then there's the, that her beginning idea. Then there's her presenting the idea and the resistance against it. And then finally the resolution of the idea still coming to birth and transforming. Okay, now if those are the three divisions, mm -hmm. okay, uh, what particular element do you see playing itself out in each of those? Particular element in yeah, each yeah, of them? Yeah, like, okay, there's a drama, there's a drama, there's a drama. Okay. The drama in the first one was. whether to do the audit. Okay. And success or not? Success. Okay. Even in the face of complaints. Right. Go ahead. In a similar way. I don't see a drama in them in wifery so much as like... Well, from the evidence you have... I gave her some power to... In other words, it continues a line yeah. of success. Even in the face of the naysayers. Yeah, okay. Or the... Okay. The, yeah. Or hey. being in Las Vegas. Right. And then in the resolution, there's success. Okay. Now, at the end, there's still a question, though. Right. Now, look here. From analysis, you should be able to say what the problem is, why she's having the dream. 
Okay. Right? Now, you can't ask that until you have done this work. Okay. Right? Oh, Gina, what do you say? In terms of what we've developed or any other direction you want to take. Well, I see that there is an individual that is doing things. Uh, I don't have a role or I don't, I'm talking about it, but I am not involved or I'm, I'm observing all this. Okay, so over here, it. okay, look here. There you are, observe, right? Go ahead. So my participation is not there. Okay, that's all right. But still, keep going. But I have good, I see well. I can see what she's done. I can see the impact of midwifery on her. Uh, I think that was key in the dream when I said it to the guy. Okay, now you're moving here, I notice. Right. Why not? The others? No, uh, well, well, the, sorry, why the not? Midwifery was the key that generated her coming out and doing the audit. The audit itself was very unique and powerful. It was like you don't consider that as a possibility. Although that is what was fundamental to address the issues among the Congress. If people were to want to be exposed and to see what was going on, that would have, that was the most fundamental way to do it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, can you tell us what kind of group the uh, was going on? where the audit was going on? What kind of group? And do you have any idea of its identity? Um, School, business, military, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts? Well, it moved into the Congress. Like there, it was a therefore, government come on. political organization. Political, right? Yeah. On what level? Come on. Uh, on the highest level. Right, on the highest level. Okay. So then, if you just keep with what you're saying, what would you say is going on, using what you've already said? Well, that her skill or her insight into midwifery. opened up mm -hmm. for her, the possible opened up for her to risk what what she thought was important to do. Wait a minute. Very important to Did do. Did it go beyond mere auditing? Uh, oh yeah, that, well. Thank you. There Therefore, was more than what happened audit. to the audit? It became what? The audit itself was, but you had to go through the Congress to get it passed, and that was what she did, not just to do the audit, but she had to make, she had to persuade these Congress people, who were the majority really, but she got it passed so that she could do the audit. Let me ask it again. Okay, got the same question I asked before. No. Okay. Did she, in making an audit, go beyond the range of what an audit usually is? Oh, uh, an audit generally is financial. financial, but it's she went into looking at therefore, their licenses, the uh, contracts, therefore, uh, all the. It, she went beyond what an audit, financial audit, would be. That's right. But, and, come on now, make a judgment. Did that do something for her? Was that significant? Oh, yeah. That, you have to say, you have to tell me. That meant that it was going, it wasn't just financial. It was finding out how these people function, 
Thank their you. licenses, their contracts, their just uh, where they going and voting. I mean, it was all involved in pretty much how they were functioning as well. Is that not an interesting added element? You to just, the audit? Yes, did you not? Yes. Therefore, what is going on now? Now that you raised that? Yes, it is going on beyond an audit to being, come on. It's like a criminal investigation, I don't know. Um, well, that's what it says in the last sentence. Pardon? That's what it says in the last sentence? Uh, um, well, um, I guess it would be, it would, it would be to present or disclose or, or investigate or reveal what not, not or and and, and 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 investigate the function of each of the members of Congress and um, not only financially but also their activities do yeah. they vote do they come to vote do okay. they all that okay all right do they read the the bills yeah. okay therefore it's resolution um, success right yes it was right, right across the board mm -hmm. right right okay now Doesn't why just... is that a problem she has to face the dreamer has to face Where is the problem? Right? See, is she room? is watching it all. She is watching it all. She's now reflecting on the dream and seeing much more in the dream, of course, right? That brought her to different conclusions, more profound understanding of what was going on. So. So what, Virginia? Well, she wouldn't have been able to do this before midwifery. No, that's that, that's for no. Sure. Okay, watch. Her problem was that she. <laughs> didn't push anything. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> she went through all the steps that yes. required, I don't know. She By the way, yes or no in terms of what you're seeing in the dream. Would you give her a grade for what she's doing? Well, there were two grades. One was the, what she did was an A, and what she saw in terms of midwifery was profound. Both A's, right? Right? And, um... Was it philosophical? Say, by the way, if you met the auditor, what would you tell her that you didn't bring up in the dream? So, it, it wasn't. What? 
Well, she didn't finish it. This isn't philosophical. What? It's not philosophical. I don't know what that means. Said she got an A for the work she did in philosophical midwifery and sessions and. Well, it, the philosophical midwifery allowed her to pursue what she thought was her goal. Yeah, let me write that down again. And be successful at it. Yeah, okay. That shows I'm still with it. Yeah. But it sounds like she's saying the woman was deluded. She thought she had a goal. She's, where did you find that, that she was deluded? By what Gina just said. How did you pull out that she could be deluded by what was That said? she pursued what she thought was her goal. Well, did you, Why didn't she are you just putting say on the she word pursued thought? her goal? Okay, you're working on the word thought, since she only thought of it. As her goal. Yeah. 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 That's a personal use of the word thought, by the way. Well, how did you mean the word, Gina? Well, that was her, that was what she wanted to do. She thought that, that was, was her goal, then? Yeah. Wait, wait. That was her goal, then? Yeah. Gina? Yes. Yeah, so she yes. said yes. Oh, oh, I didn't hear. Okay. Yeah. It's curious that she had to put that word in. No, but, no. Your okay. point is based upon your association with the word thought, the way she used the word thought, you, it suggested to you, finish it. Only thought meant to you what? That it was other than the actuality. Right, right. That's your personal way of using the word thought. And it's, it's thought different than her know. use of but thought? It's, but it's not, in, it's not either in the work or her understanding. Have that, you asked her? Okay. I mean, how can you just say that? Yeah, we just did. Okay. Why would we add it? Okay. Okay. Say, uh, Jim? Well, it was her thought. Her thought is that she motivated, she moved towards what her goal was. The thought includes her goal, what she wants. Okay, now it's all about thought. Her goal was her thought. Okay. That's I didn't okay. say that her goal was her thought. I said included in her thought was what she wanted. But it doesn't okay. assume that there's a being deluded, which is... Well, her thought was never part of the picture, so the fact that she added it suggested it was different. But that's okay. Okay. Uh, you it, the, it's a good point. Mm. Uh, maybe you could remember it later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, say, uh, if you had a talk with that auditor, remember my question, what would you ask her or say to her? Was it like to have been successful doing what you did? Nope. Um, now that you can do all this. No. Well, I don't know then. Good. <laughs> Would it have been interesting had she revealed the source of her insightful new way of auditing that brought about all of these changes? Mm. Mm. Uh, to the people in Congress? Could have? Yeah. Why? Why would that be important? Uh, Well, then it would involve the oh, others. Oh, I'll wait until I dump this. It involves the others. It brings, it would bring those who wouldn't care or who should, wouldn't lose anything, at least bring them up to gain some insight into how she changed or, or not how she That's changed right. because they didn't know her That's right. before. So yeah. it wasn't that she changed in front of them. It was like she came in new and did this, but, but not, if she, she... By the way, she didn't just do that in terms of your dream. She brought about a revolutionary change in auditing, is what you said. Oh, I didn't say that. Pardon me. That's what's going on. Is that what you said a moment ago? Oh, I see. She's not just applying financial audit. Yes, she's doing everything. As 
she's going through how they function. Yes, every it's not just a financial checking the. Is that the one thing she's keeping from them? The source of. For why, what it is that. She, well, that she came to the insight that this is what is necessary to see what is going on, not just merely the financial, and that she gained these insights and she's able to do this because of talks that she's had? Is that what you... Is that what is going on? It's not just talks that she had, but midwifery talks and sessions. Right. Yes. Okay. Does she keep that from them? Yeah, she doesn't mention it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Therefore, what might you ask her? How come you didn't mention uh -huh. the insights that you uh -huh. came to for those people especially uh, who wouldn't be part of the criminal group? Mm -hmm. They probably would really benefit from it. Now, why are you having the dream? I don't. No, no, keep the, keep the, come on. Where are you seeing it and not describing it? That's important to say. Are you seeing changes? Well, I see changes. I see things that I should be seeing that I'm not. Uh, name those three. Name those three. I assume there's going to be three. Yeah. There's several. There's several things. Uh, what would happen if one you... One stands out in particular Go that's ahead. bugging me, which I... I really don't like and I see a passivity that I have. Um, and how would it change both you and them if you would disclose what you know about this issue? Uh, There's a couple of things. One is uh, at work. I don't want to. Um, uh, yeah, I, I could do it there. What would happen if you were to do it? Is I the could question. do it with the doctors that I'm seeing for my what medical. What would happen illness. if you were to do it? To you. To me? Yes. See, you're the person. You're the person. Uh, I'm not revealing the source. Are you? Is that what you just said? Um. Did you just say that there are places where you are holding back and not doing this very thing? Oh, I see. Uh, I took it to mean something else. Um, yeah, actually. Uh, I've been interested in doing certain things, and I haven't been moving in that direction. And if you did move in that direction, would you have to disclose? Go ahead. Share, Share disclose. Share, disclose. Um, Explain. Well, I. it's like I do it, but it's not forceful. I, I may disclose a little bit, but I, no, I'm no, not that's, forceful. Then you're not doing it. No. What would happen if you were to do it is the question. Do you think it make any difference if you were to do it? Um, well, it may not make any difference for them, but it would for me. I would say that it's
well, I would say that it's possible for me to talk about myself or talk about uh, what I'm into on a, uh, you know, and not worry about what other people think about it. Did you answer my question? Well, you're asking me what what, it, what effect would it have on you to do that? Well, I, I would see it as... Um, I don't know what effect it would have. Then don't do it. Right? The hell with it. In one way, you do know, right? Because you have the analogy to what happened in the dream. Well, I mean, it would be successful on one level, but I, I don't know what what it would do for me. What would it do for her if she would have to have done that? Well, it would. Well, for her, she went through all that activity. She would have turned around and said, okay, now that I've done all this Congress stuff, now I think I'll go back to midwifery. No. Nope. Hey, no, no. Look here. She would have to go back and explain what it is that brought her to see auditing in a new and profound way that has such vast consequences that without which it would never have been achieved. You're dealing in your dream with a radical transformation of politics, are you not? Yes or no? Yes. And yeah. if she were to divulge the source of this kind of change that is so significant to turn around and bring about those kinds of changes which are suggested in your dream, would it not be a revolution of the moral values in Congress and in politics? Is yeah. I mean, well, then it probably. I'm not getting to hey, it wouldn't to the make any difference for her to reveal it, would it? The source of why she could do what she did. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Of course, it would make a difference. What difference? Huh? And huh? And ha-ha. Hmm. Well, then others would be able to see the source, and if they if they can see... Hey, I appreciate I that. Why are you dodging the question? I don't see I'm dodging it. I don't know Let me try it again. It. Watch. Hey, hi, Gina. Hi. What effect do you think that this would have on you if you were to divulge it, similar to the dream and in the dream? That means what would happen to her, what would happen to you? Well, see, I'm having a hard time because I am divulging it to someone and I am talking about it. You are not. But you're saying, Pardon. who should I Pardon. talk to with Hold it, with hold her? it. No, you're not. You haven't divulged that. You said you, you've you offered just a little bit. Well, I, 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 in the dream, I talk to somebody and say, I said that this is what midwifery talks do. It rev revolutionizes people and changes them radically. I don't know. Okay, look here. I'm not sure. See, that's all good. And what effect is that going to have on you to have revealed that to someone or I, in public? Oh, in public. Okay, I, uh, I did talk to this guy. Yeah, what would it... Uh, come on, stay with the question. Okay, let me change it. Hey, Regina, uh, what was it like telling that guy what you uh, really saw going on? Um, what did it do to you in the dream? <coughs> what state of mind was present? Um, well, I remember when I was talking to him and reflecting on what the woman had gone through and what was she seeing. And I 
thought, it, it caused me to think just the profoundness of a few midwife talks can have. And, you know, it's like everything else just disappeared. It was like that's, that's the most profound thing there is yeah. if you want to make yeah. changes. Hey. Yeah, that's true. So By the I way, did you answer the question? Uh, Not that I don't appreciate your answer, but it answered a different question. Well, my, my state of mind was that I... When you were talking to that fellow and get revealing this, your insight to him, you were sharing, what was it like doing that? Well, it was what, like waking up to a, just, a, again, another profoundness of, well, another way, I guess, of seeing the profoundness of midwifery. I mean, it was like a wake-up. I, I, I was like seeing something again and really seeing its gorgeous beauty to it. I was affected because I was struck by it. I don't know how to answer. Hey, that's much better than what I got before. Say, I understand it was a wake-up. It was seeing it in a, in a new way, a more profound way, and seeing the beauty in it. I think it was... Is that right? Yes or no? In a new way, in the sense that it was brief. It was like not too many talks, like maybe one or two or three talks at best for this woman. Yeah. And I'll, it got I'll, to okay. the fundamental... I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give up. Okay. Okay, I'll quit. Uh, do you know why I'm quitting? No. I can't get you to, to answer the question. Got a little bit better. I know another one. Got another one? Okay, ready. Set. Sure. Say, uh, you ever go to sessions? Yeah. And have midwife talks? Pardon? And have you also had midwife talks? Yeah. Oh. Have you had various experiences in life? Yeah. Oh, where would you count this one? And where would you place it in terms of all the other? Oh, it was high. It was the highest. It's the highest? Yeah. Oh, have you been in Zen? Yes. Have you had uh, so-called enlightenment experiences? Yes. Graded. Where did this compare with all the others? Oh, it was like... Um, mm -hmm. It was extreme, it was personal. Personal, go ahead, more. Because in Zen, it was like I could answer the koans, but it was, yeah. it was almost, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see the relevance sometimes. I, uh, I, I mean, I could answer them, but I didn't see the relevance to myself. Right, but here? There was an element of, uh, of personal... Therefore, history. if you're going to rate them among all your so-called Zen experiences and midwife experiences, where would you rank? Hot, very high. Right on the top. Yep. That's what I did. Thank you. Therefore, it answer now this question. What might it be like for you not just to talk to one person, as in the dream, but to reveal it to Congress, as it were? Open one. What role would you be playing? The role that I don't see I do or please, can please, do or feel please, I please do. Just take that out of there and answer the question. What yes. role would I be playing? Yeah. Um, well, I think it'd be like, uh, I'd be like, uh, I'd, I'd be, <laughs> and I should. I'd be telling, I'd be Trump telling uh, the Congress what to do. About Answer themselves. the question, oh, take no. that politics out of it. What role would you be playing? Well, let's see, in a higher level. I mean, you know, I'd be president, directing the Congress. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, 
Um, Look here. I'd be the Can speaker take... of the house. No, 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 please. The example is, since you revealed it to one person very accurately, what would it be like if you were to then represent it to oh. the public in general, to the people that are now seeing the audit in the dream? A title that I don't like. Uh, go ahead, give me the title you don't myself. like. Go ahead, I, tell me the <laughs> title you don't like that's now at issue. Well, I like it, but it's not applied to me. Uh, please tell me, I need to know in order to get rid of this dream. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Well, getting going. Um, yeah, well, it would be, I would see myself as a philosopher. Thank you. That's the dream. What is it going to take for you? I, Not to do it individually, to solitary people, but what? Uh, to Congress. <laughs> for Congress like Open. people. Open. Open. Yeah. Therefore, this is an enlightenment dream, right? That's the way you can serve. Uh, what was the title again you're reluctant to use? <laughs> I forgot. What, was, what was it? <laughs> hmm. um. I have such a bad memory. What, what was the title again? Uh, philosopher. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Forget that. Okay. Good job. Forget that. I don't know. You don't know what? All it's going to do is cause you a little distress in the soul to recognize what? What you already know. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> what I already know? I think so. Thank you. See, analysis, you make the divisions, you look at what happens in each division, you see how things are being represented, what role is being taken place, what are the implications of it, if someone were to be personified in each of these, how would it function, how would it be compared with their everyday world or their own background. Ah, with the Schnaffendorf. With the Schnaffendorf, so be careful. Ah. Yeah, I'll remember it, by the way. Remember what? The dream. <laughs> mm, we all heard it. Yeah. <laughs> it made me think, the moment I thought I saw the problem was when she was describing the dream, and at the end she had a put-down for the, for the woman, where she says, oh, well, it's not philosophical. And the whole thing's a success, a success, a success, and a success, and she still found a way to not call it a success. That's right. That's when I thought, oh, this is, this, she can't, this is a dream that somebody can't see this in themselves. That's right. Like that they are something and they don't. Yeah. Yeah. But how, yeah. To, how to tease that out of her, <laughs> that, that I didn't have an understanding of. Well, quite, quite, see, cautious, step by step, a little fast. Hmm. Was there another dream? Me? I think a couple more. Hmm? I think two more. <laughs> two more. Oh yeah, I brought one enough? too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just here too. Oh my god. It's going to get worse. <laughs>
very same questions, right? How do I... Divisions? Divisions of it? The first dream is like, a, it's the only thing I could capture from like hours of dreaming was this diagram. No. And the diagram seemed to explain all the dreaming. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was the model for all the dreams I was mm -hmm. having. And mm -hmm. uh, so the division of that one is just the picture, I think. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the meaning of the shaded regions. So I drew a picture of it. At the top, that's the picture yeah. I saw. Like. Yeah. And it makes me wonder about yeah. uh, what were the equations. Yeah. That's the question yeah. I have. So. Second division. The second one. From the second one, there's this very vivid aspect of the lines on the. Mm -hmm. The lines of the diagram became like highlighted, mm -hmm. and when the lines became highlighted, I had this sense of police officers moving in, mm -hmm. and they even looked like they got barbed wire in the dream, like mm -hmm. like, like they became like a fencing, you know, almost like a barrier in that sense. And like, and that was definitely, uh, like I said in there, just very tense. People, there was like, a, I had this image of like a, a, like a downtown area in one sense and like people walking around and all of a sudden these officers are moving in and everybody just freezes. Like, what's going on? Uh, yeah, thank you. Tension. Tension that these people were gonna, <clears throat> they were like Gestapo, like police. Yeah. You know, like, In the second dream, actually, I, I woke up this morning, reflected on the first dream, went back to sleep, and then in the second no, dream, so no, no, it's no. from this morning. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. No, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I wasn't even reflecting. I'm sorry. I'm focusing on camera. Oh, okay. This one oh. is, is very important for you. Good. Let me think for a second. We'll come back to them. Are we still doing divisions? Yeah. Take the first one, first paragraph. Uh, the only question that comes to mind for me is uh, what was it like? noticing that anything in that region was a solution, what was that like? Uh, what was that like? I know that's not a division question, but... I don't know, I mean, I didn't have a necessarily state of mind association. It was just like I saw the picture. No. And I saw the diagram. Yeah. Solid diagram. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, have you ever studied mathematics? Yeah. Oh, he's a good guy to ask then. Would you see virtually? What would you ask him? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> what do you think of the way mathematics is presented in the first part of the dream, the first division? What is he able to see with mathematics and equations? Together? More. No. Uh, how math relates to virtue and excellence. Thank you. What do you think of that? Why are you asking me? He's the dreamer. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. You're I think it's awesome. Thank you. I think it's crazy beautiful that you can so, relate so math to how virtue and judging? excellence. How does that work? Beautifully. Uh, and mm -hmm. awesome? Awesome, yeah. What do you think of that? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. At that moment, mm -hmm. at that moment in the dream, where you concluded, I thought they were about okay. What was that like at that moment? Um, what was that like at that yeah. moment? 
interesting. I was very curious. And um, it made me want to discover more about it. Like yeah, was yeah, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> mm. Well, because there was something mysterious still about the, the lines. Like, and what, what defined them? Yeah. Say, um, I know you know the difference between an event and its consequences. Uh -huh. You're giving me the consequences of that insight. What was the insight like? What was the insight like? The insight like that they were about virtue or excellence? What was in the dream uh -huh. at the moment that statement was visible in the dream? What did it do to you? Only. Uh, no, no, it's not possible. What it did to me. Oh. I'll give you some answers, okay? It's boring as hell. <laughs> well, I already said it was interesting and made me curious. So. Uh, but I, I, that isn't enough. I need to know in words what that means to you. Right? I wanted to discover. I mean, yeah, I, I yeah, wanted okay. to discover. So, is it there likely? was, there was it two parts to it actually. One of them, like there's, so there's these two line, main lines on the graph, and one of them, that was about excellence or virtue, and I didn't know what the other one was about, and I, I wanted to know what the other one was about. Yeah. One of the lines, yeah. like it made me. So, is it likely that in your field, you've had the nice, good fortune to gain insights in mathematics? Uh, into the mathematics I study, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, where would you put this experience of insight? Um, one of the top three. Oh. In my head. Oh. If it had happened in real life, I'd probably put it right up there. Uh oh, mm -hmm. up oh, on yeah. the top. One of the top three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other ones are pretty incredible. Yeah, incredible. Right. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Yeah. Transformational. Transformational. Yeah, that's what I would say. It'd be being more credible because somehow it's about states of mind. Yeah, yeah. And myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of states of mind. <laughs> this is Go the ahead. Map. This is the map question again. Uh huh. So. It would give a map, like a method of understanding. And where would you put that? Oh, one of the highest again, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you like that state of mind? Oh, I love that state of mind. Oh, yeah. attracted to it. Totally. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, like this is incredible insight. It's transformative, right? It's trans transformable. It's a method of understanding. It's among the highest, if not the highest. It's a state of mind, right? Um, therefore, what is this dream about? Uh, what's it about? About what is producing these states of mind in you? <coughs> Those objects I'm studying that are bringing that out in me. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Hmm. And, uh, by the way, do you find it interesting that you're able to reduce that to what you call equations? Yeah, it'd be pretty incredible. Yeah, talk about that. Well, an equation in one sense is a rule that relates parts together as a whole. Pulls them into a unity. Yeah, and it actually mm -hmm. kind of wraps up an idea of like a one-many problem. Right. That many infinite things can still right. be wrapped up into this right. Right. one relationship. Yeah. Statement of it, it nothing. It sounds very philosophical, doesn't it? 
Well, we discussed on the 4th of July some of the things I try to bring out, the yeah. metaphysics I try to bring out in the mathematics, and yeah. that's, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, there's a line in here I'd like you to uh, tell me what it was like when it occurred. Okay. Anything in this region is a solution. Isn't that interesting? Anything mm -hmm. in this region is a solution. What, what do you see in that? <laughs> uh, well, it's a pretty specifically ambiguous statement. No, 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 no. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't matter what the anything really means, it's open. There's an infinite amount of things as long sure. as they're in that area. And what do you like about that area? Hmm. Uh, what do I like about that area? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this word solution or acceptable. Those are the words I use for it. I don't know if I find those acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Anything in that region is a solution. It seems like goodness, that's all. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Anything yeah. in there is good. Yeah. Anything it's, that happens in that region is good. That's good, yeah. 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 It's a pretty uh it's a statement of what would follow. Right. From something being right. in there. Yeah. Right, right. But not necessarily right. what has to be in there. Yeah. 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 It's a rather profound state that middle solutional state. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, you called it goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has that quality. Preeminently. Yeah. I don't think that's expressed in the words acceptable or solution. Oh but no. uh no, it's there. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> it's there. See anything in this region is a solution. Mm-hmm. Therefore, in that area, it solves, finish it. It solves. Um, there's nothing to be solved. It's That's already right. solved. It's already solved. Mm -hmm. And all you're do? doing is making notes about what is already solved. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And that's an equation. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this looks very much like the... Uh, uh, Remember that cream uh, Regina had? I kind of do, yeah. 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 Find something similar going on? Well, both of them are a map to success in one sense, or a, a, a demonstration. Oh, of, push it up. Um, both of us, both of them are drawing us to our highest selves. Right. And giving us pathways to that. Right, right. thank in you. In that sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off the hot seat. Yeah. And the second paragraph, <laughs> second paragraph is you're seeing a whole bunch of people are in, enjoying the, the physical capture. Oh, they're all. Right. They're on a. Right. Like the implications of your equations and understanding of what they're seeing the consequences on behavior. It's a very public demonstration of what happens if you get out of line. Right. Uh, out of that center. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That, that region. Sounds like yeah. my family. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it would be nice if you could uh, ever, ever do any uh, painting or drawing. Uh, I mean, I do paintings of my diagrams, or do drawings of my diagrams. Yeah. Would you do a diagram one time, or uh, forget the word diagram, do a painting on uh, that region? That is a solution? It was literally just like a shaded area on a piece of paper. Yeah, but did it add colors, or? The, it, the, if anything, there was some colors. Oh. But, like, but it, it's it usually, like the, yeah, it's dull and kind of dumb. No? It really wasn't that exciting to the colors, I gotta say, like... What? It was like shaded, just shaded regions. There wasn't really much color. It was dark. Darks yeah, and lights. But normally, we'd call it just dull. <laughs> 
I don't think the, the region itself was dull, but when well, I say a diagram, it's like, a, I think of, I literally think of the word like the annoyance, like in the sense of like, I s just saw a picture mm -hmm. of seeing through the picture, like mm -hmm. um, when I think of like the use of my imagination mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. a model. Yeah, let, let me try this. Oh, uh, hi. hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, what would it be like for you to pick up that description he just gave of that region in which everything is a solution and do a painting on that? What would you have to do to bring that? Um, to make me? it? Yeah, in, uh, you're a painter, come on. What, what you're I, an artist, come <laughs> on. Make that the subject of your art. What would it be like? Yeah. So what I envisioned as Josh was talking and sharing and how beautiful and perfect it was, was these various diagram of every shape and color would illuminate mm -hmm. on kind of a heavenly mm -hmm. scene. I think I understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just was actually just giving a description of the thing I saw. I rather know. than what would be a painting to represent that. Right. That's a different question. That's right. Uh, I'd probably pick some like uh, <laughs> pastoral setting, <laughs> like where everybody was just doing what they were doing, okay. and it was completely natural right. for them to do what they were doing. You know, like yeah. people could be like yeah. farming, but I, they'd have everything there yeah. well, for them to uh, farm, or like their kids could be playing, or yeah, by the they way, could be having a, a, a picnic. You know, yeah. like uh, any clouds? No. Oh, no, probably not. Mid midday or oh. evening? No, it'd be pleasant, so there'd have to be some clouds, that's for sure. Oh, Because if bird? not, we'd be cooking like that. Occasional bird here and there? Yeah, na nature. Yeah, yeah. Nature. Yeah, yeah. So, something like that. Right. Yeah. That's what you'd have to do to represent. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, okay. That's a different question. I have a question. question. What does that mean? It's the region that has been shaded by both? Uh, okay, so like in a system of equations, you get these math equations, and then you can draw pictures of them. Uh -huh. And then when you draw the pictures, the pictures make lines on the graphs, and then you shade one direction, like where solutions exist at. Like. Uh huh. And so, then when you put them together, there's often shaded, there's a region that's shaded from one equation, and a region that's shaded from another equation. And that mutually shared region yeah. is the... Solution of ev of all of the equations. Oh yeah, I've seen have, that. I hmm. like that. So, oh, what do you like about it? It's just uh, cool. <laughs> mm. I mean, it really makes you pause and wonder and contemplate what the hell is going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what's going on. What yeah. do you think about it? If that's what's going on. Well, it's a, it's attractive to me too. That's that, that some avoided stuff the, I found that too. avoided my question. What's your question? What's going on in me at that time? Uh, that's true. You know, I, I I don't really know what's going on, but I wondered about that. Pardon me, you were just brought to see what it might be. Right. So you do have that idea now. I was trying to keep you on the thought you had a few moments ago. That's the force of my question. Well, I have a, I have a problem with that whole phenomenon that, um, is that it's really drawn me into looking at that before, but it seems like it takes a lot of time or something no, to really mean, contemplate it. What do you mean it takes a lot of time? <laughs> You have to really lay it out and, and look at it and Why study it. It? Yeah, but it looks like that's a burden, the way you're presenting it. Well, it seems like it's a luxury that I don't have or didn't have before. Oh, no, 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 you do have it. Yeah. The question is, what's holding you back from doing it? I mean, you can't appreciate this on the level that you are presently experiencing. Right. I haven't it. thought about it for a long time. Uh, what what does it do to you to think about it now? I love that stuff. And therefore, what do you 
Go ahead, finish. But I'm, I'd like to see your diagram and hearing you just explain no, no, it. No, no, you. What will you do with it? What the hell was that? What am I going to do with it? Probably just forget it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever taught you to forget the profound yeah. is the wow. problem <laughs> at home. Mm -hmm. How does the role forget play a role in your house? Well, I'll tell you, I've hung out to all my algebra books <laughs> so I could like recreate all that <laughs> stuff um, because I want to go through that again. What does the but role of forgetting play in your home? The whole house is just forget everything, especially anything you love or yeah. want to talk about or have feelings right. about. Right. That's what yeah. you have to challenge by doing what you see. That's true. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. And Good. you did just see Good. it pretty fast, too. Yeah. yeah. You did like a one minute decision. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Julie. Yeah. He asked one, too. Okay, let's do it. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. All right, where's yours, Julie? Oh, right here. Go, huh? <laughs> That's kind of long. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, I thought that was outdoors. Ice water. Ice water? Thank you. No, no, everything's fine. You got coffee? Okay. Okay. Just checking. Because I think it was some cold. I thought I saw some cold stuff. Yeah, there's cold water in there. I can put lemon in it. Thank you. No, that's okay. I'll see you. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, wait. Do you have one for yourself? Oh, wait. No, I got one. Thank you. But we're not complaining. No, I just not the patient. The similarity. Come on, Leg Art, how come you couldn't print it out in twenty four point font with ten pages? <laughs> Okay, same questions. All right. How many divisions would you make in this dream? Julie? Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, if I ask how many divisions and you tell me one, two, three, four, or five. I'd say five. Okay. But then in, in two there are. Okay. Virginia? The I haven't finished though. Okay. Sure. When you're asking for divisions, are you asking for scenes or are you asking for problems or issues? Neither. If a, uh, is there a unity to a certain story that is self-contained? Does it have a beginning, middle, and end? Mm. That's a division. Okay. John? Two, three. What did you say? Three. All right. Yeah, I... I don't understand the question, but I'm just thinking of terms of the 
different section of the dream. I'm thinking of three. Okay. Three. Right. I haven't read it. Okay. I read it by <laughs> nine. See, I'm not asking about how many distinctions you can make, but is there a story that is self-contained that has many parts but fit together into a unity so that we can then isolate it from the other divisions and talk about each one separately? Well, I would say at least, I'll take a shot, there's at least two themes I see. Okay. One is the issue of beauty and its effect, uh, both on the bus and, of course, in various ways in the last scene, the girl with the flower and the people wearing things, but they have different aspects to that beauty and they have different effects on the dreamer. There's also a theme running through of the entire dream on uh, where am I going and how do I get there. That's true. Pardon? Hmm. I think I'm seeing more clearly what you're asking about, but, and in light of that, I might say there's four. Okay. okay. If you were to cut this dream up with the scissors, all right? each one of the paragraphs numbering them. Mm -hmm. Do some fit together because of location? Mm -hmm. sure. Because of story? Absolutely. Oh, if you use that idea, how many divisions would, would you say exist in the dream? Two. Okay. All right. Where does it cut for two? Um, Number the paragraphs. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, and three would be in part one. Okay. All right. Let's take that. Okay. Because that has a... Self-contained. Mm -hmm. Paragraph two has a part that I've been thinking in my daily life as an issue that I want to look at. So what? What's that got to do with the question so of division? I'm glad that you want to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Now take a look at one, two, three as a unity. All right? How you doing in that first division? I'm not doing well. Because what's going on as you see it? It's like I am... I don't... I'm not will. I'm not able to clearly identify where I live or what I have or how to get to my house or anything. I'm disoriented. See? But you don't use what you've already discovered, by the way. So I'll hold that for a moment, all right? Hmm. What other words would you use to describe what you just said? Taking it as a whole, what would you say is the state of mind that's predominant about? From what you just said, what issue is going on? Just repeat it. Come on, the things you just said. I, I'm not even sure what I said. I, I, um, I can't identify what's mine or one. Um, where I am. Two. How to get to where I'm going. Three. And I'm disoriented. Four. All right. Put them together. What kind of condition are you dealing with in that dream at that point? What would you say is the issue? 
You're quite right. Everything you said, I just want, uh -huh. want to see whether you can come up with a word. A word? Yeah. Jesus, it's like um, <laughs> bad news. Huh? Jesus, what is that? <laughs> yeah, um, it's like I'm... No. You're not going to answer it. Go ahead. Try mm. it. But where you're going, it won't get you there. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't tell you that. Yeah, why do you why do you say that, Peter? What what, what did she just do that you uh, picked up on? I, I'm curious. I don't know. It's she's going in the wrong place. It's okay. I'll listen. By virtue of what? <laughs> what did she say that indicated that to you? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um. Nothing that she said. Go ahead. Okay. Well, also the bus driver can barely tell me where she's going. She's in the same condition. <laughs> What's the condition, Julie? Do you know? Can you put those um, into a word? What's the problem you're facing? By the way, she told us already. Oh. Mm. But I won't mention it. Mm. What? what was that? Was that the... Oh, yes. Uh, the was that, well, she listed four things. You want a fork or something? Got it, Julie? Um, little, I'm feeling a little weird about... No. Uh, I can. I can't see. I, I don't know. The problem is you can't remember. Mm. Mm. Well, that that does. That what? <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Boy, that put a smile on your face, didn't it? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, if I did remember these things, that would preclude all this from happening. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, did you previously already tell us about it in one word? Well, I told you that I've been having an issue. In my when you were sitting over there, oh. what was your last words that came to what is it that you're not allowed to do? To take the time. To? 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 There you I don't know. She's it. There it is. Yep, yep. What? There you got it. Can't take the time. To? I don't know. I can't remember it either, but you put it so beautifully before. To, to, to look at what I love or to study? Mm -hmm. To take the time to look at what I... Yeah, because you've been told that you better, what? Forget. I have napkins with me, Jeff. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> I brought them with, because I was crying on, on the way. Hey. What? Forget him. Okay. Forget him. Forget him. There's certain things what? you can forget. Yeah. Because mm. I've been told. To forget. Not to remember. To forget. To forget it, yeah. There you are. The whole dream is telling you that, isn't it? Yeah, therefore, I forget it. Therefore, you can't yeah. remember. That makes sense. Yeah. You told us your dream as you sat there, didn't you? Yeah. But there is one thing you do remember in this yeah. dream. What? The most important part. What's that? What? It's in the second part. Second division. What's the problem? Which follows from it, but in a different and creative way. Uh, of sitting in the upper parts of the steps? Is that go the ahead. second part? Yeah, go ahead. Or does it include the bottom steps? Yeah. Just go beep. Yeah. Well. What's your problem? 
I don't see that I have a problem in this. You do so. You've been mentioning. I'm just sitting there. No, you're not. People are arriving. Nope. I think they're all geeky looking. That's true. Somebody wants me to move over so they could reserve a spot in it. I'm just fascinated with how many people there are showing hey. up. Irrelevant, irrelevant, yeah. irrelevant. Right. Yeah, what's the issue? Hmm. Um, I'm thinking this is a pretty good place to sit. Bring that bowl. But then when the lady wants me to move over one spot, I think I'm not going to be sitting here for the duration anyway. That seems like maybe a Because of what reason? What do you discover in the last two paragraphs? So? Come on, the last two paragraphs, you're in the wrong part. So, come on. So, I mean, I don't want to be there anyway. Thank you. I don't want to be there yet. There you are. Oh. Because you can't decide on what's best for yourself. So you have to go through all of this to discover what in the last two paragraphs. Well, it's kind of like I'm, I'm walking home from where the bus dropped me off. Pick it up from so, please. So I'm just... So now I'm on the bottom step? So there were different plastic containers. Go ahead. Oh. So there were different plastic containers down on the cement and more over on the side where the glassed in displays were. And there were diamond rings. And I'm thinking that this is more than just a graduation. It's not just flowers for the event, but these are commercial people who have stuff on display here. So I don't like that either. Stop. Either. Yes. What does that mean? I didn't like the looks of all the women and girls and the whole children thing. and the whole Easter abundance and That's right. flashy, ugly clothes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Therefore, like where are you? A place I'm, a place that I shouldn't be. Yeah. I don't want to be. Yeah. But after all, with your forgetfulness, you forgot where you should be. Yeah, it's like I was walking home from the bus, and somehow this was in between, and I found myself there. Because you don't have... Because I couldn't remember where I was going. No, no. Oh. You're a good student. You're the most excellent student I've ever met. Yeah. You've learned so thoroughly, thou shalt forget. Yeah. What would happen if you got home? Hey, they're all sitting around the table. And you bring up, I'll start it, you finish it. Hey, folks, I'd like to tell you about the role of forgetfulness in this house since I've been told one way or the other. Go ahead, finish it. There you are sitting there. What are you going to tell them? The role of forgetfulness in God, this house. Go ahead, do it. What would you tell them? The role of forgetfulness in this yeah. house is that nobody can do anything because nobody is allowed to remember anything they find interesting or beautiful. They can't remember anything to talk about because. Because finish it. Because if they dare, if they dare did to go ahead. They dare. If they really did take the time out to reflect on things that have happened in your house, what would happen to the house? It would. It would. Um, It would, um, 
It would uh, take its natural consequences. I don't know what those it would be. Something would happen. I mean, yeah, nothing. I don't know. I, yeah, I can't forget it. Well, right now, nothing's uh, happening okay. in that house. Okay, get it. Nothing's happening in that house. Yeah, so go something ahead. Something would happen. You'll let him off the hook. Baloney. Well, my parents would... What are you going to tell them? Come on, right now. What are you going to tell them? We would have to start um, talking about issues that are going on at home. Oh. You have them, got several up. in mind that yeah. are going on? Yeah. And you're not allowed to what? Not allowed to talk about anything. Or reflect on them? No. Or assign responsibility? No. No, right? no, no talking. Yeah, that keeps, that keeps everybody safe, doesn't it? Yeah. And polite. And without any value or life. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you want to tell them? That this is just a, a phony, sh phony. But very, hey, it's a very effective tool to keep. Go ahead, finish. It's very it. effective. To keep what from happening? To keep um, everybody together. Nobody, I mean, you know, from. New, it looks like new, you new. Just change, the, change your direction. Oh. No, but well, it looks unified. It looks like uh, we're all together. You lost it. Uh, okay. But, the, phrase, um, the phrase that you used when you were sitting over here today yeah. was it kept people from experiencing the <laughs> the um, well. I mean, it keeps people from experiencing the reality or the consequences of of what's going on. The reality of life, everything. Mm -hmm. This is—you can't—you can't do anything. You can't experience anything. So, what are you going to tell them now that you see that? So, uh, they forced you into that. What are you going to tell them? Yeah. Are you going to hold to it now? Well, the force. Are you going to hold to that principle in the house, in your own soul? Well, the message was that um, there was something interesting about not talking. It wasn't just, I mean, the message was, God, what was the message? They didn't want to hear about anything that we either liked or didn't like. Uh, and that they ordered you to do. If they ordered us to do something, um, uh, what would happen if you laid out what they got you to do without any qualifications? Just line them all up and say, "Hey, this is what you got me to do." What would that do to? Them? What does do to me? To them. To them. I don't think they'd be impressed. They could hear it and they'd smile. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't make any difference if you were to tell them that these are the things that have been going on uh -huh. that you guys can cover up by not reflecting on them, and you were to point out each of those things. It wouldn't affect them, would it? No. Right. Good. Right. They wouldn't exile you or anything else like that, right? Right. I think if I listed what they did not let me do, would Both. give them a problem. Both. Both. Yeah. But yeah, forgetting is, and not putting into words, yeah. yeah finish it. Not putting into words is, is the way you stay loyal to them. We're loyal to what? To the forgetting. And is it, what is that called? Is that a path over? Hey, is that a path over? Um, staying quiet is a way is to that a path over? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. To the pathologist. Oh, then you're going to have to do what to get out of it? To the forgetting. Mm-hmm. Um. Not covering up. Right. By the way, does forgetting keep you in the practical world? Yeah, keeps me. Yeah. Mired in the everyday crazy world. Crazy. Yeah. World of. Yeah. Yeah. Time to get out of it, think? Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm curious. Forgetting that remembering. Mm. Mm. What's it like going through this? Now that you're going through this, what's it like this talk? It's kind of foggy. I don't like I'm looking at this through a fog or something. Uh, that's because you're going to forget it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Forgetting plays a major role, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's, I've actually at, been at doing forgetting that. yourself. That's all right. they're asking you to do. Right. Oh, and that's okay. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, isn't no, it? No, it's not. It isn't. Oh. But that's the main thing, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Bad news. No, no, good news. It's up to you to do it, Bill. Yeah, I've really been ignoring my dreams lately. I mean, just, I wake up in the morning with a dream, I go, okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record that. It's been like a couple, three weeks or something, I just. Well, you're supposed to forget it. <laughs> right, I'm supposed to forget it. Yeah. Forget myself. Yeah, that makes sense. It does. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Pierre. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Nice job, what? Jules. What? I just said, nice job. Okay, what did you say? Mm. Who is that little girl with the flower? I don't know. She's like in a pink little, kind of reminds me of me in a way. Oh, yeah. My really? mother used to dress me like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, we become like yeah. those people that have trained us. Right. Uh, That's yeah, their goal. Except um, there's something very interesting about what she's doing that you appreciate in the dream, mm -hmm. isn't there? Like the flowers? Yeah, what's she doing? She's, uh, her, she's enjoying the flowers. What is that, what and you're say? enjoying her enjoying the flowers. Right, she's in a state of mind, yeah. Are either of you in the practical world? At that moment? No. Oh. So mind does remember something through all of this. What did it remind you of? What did what remind? What what is what is what is mind reminding you of in that state of mind? With that oh, girl and watching that girl. What is mind telling you right there? You're not forgetting anything, are you? And neither is she. Okay. But I don't want to disturb her state of mind. Way, what, what? Say what? But I don't. I don't want to disturb her state of mind. And I'm happy to just watch it. Would that have happened in your family? Or not? Would, a, would an adult watching a two-year-old girl enjoy beauty have been preserved or had to have been shut down? I don't know. We didn't talk about that kind of stuff. 
I really wasn't allowed. Tried. It was kind of risque to talk about beauty or anything. Mm. It was like a dirty word. Mm. Starting at States two. of mind weren't recognized. Starting at two years old. Starting at, I think, before conception. <laughs> you also gave another name besides appreciating the flowers or enjoying the beauty uh -huh. as you went further, the next line or so. Uh -huh. Or mm -hmm. is it? Top paragraph. Mm -hmm. oh, and are going up to the flowers? Well, also oh. take a look at the last line in the, sun, in the paragraph. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking who I don't like the woman. Or the Just, but I'm thinking that when the words 10 p.m. When the words 10 p.m. or the end of the show arrives or the start of it or whatever, it seems like that stops our exploration. So that's. Uh, would you read the line that Barbara is mentioning? She, she did. She did. She did. I, I meant to explore. Yeah. Would you read it? But I'm thinking that when the words 10 p.m. or the end of the show arrives, or the start of it, whatever, it seems like that stops her exploration. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I just thought, then she, what are you calling what she's doing? She's uh, appreciating the beauty of the flower or something. And? And she's in a state of mind. Well, yeah, the last word of the sentence. Stuff, or her exploration. So, yeah. Right, it's those yeah. three things or so, right? It's right. It's beauty, it's, right? But it's also an exploration that right. stops at a certain point. Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of down there looking, yeah. kind of like I am down yeah. there. Yeah. Checking it out. Yeah. But she's getting caught up in certain, what? the beauty of certain things. I'm getting caught up in her state of mind. Right. Huh. So would that have been something allowed in your household? Jeff took it to the level uh -huh. of appreciating her. I'm wondering about right. her activity. Her activity was, that exploration was sometimes allowed. You could explore in the household and explore your own goals. Well, no, we didn't do goals. We could explore physical things. Oh, physical Like walk things. around and look at glass cases. Like or she's flowers. doing our flowers, yeah. No. Yeah, we could oh, do that's that. Interesting. Only because it looks like then you're seeing it as a physical exploration. Right. But a nice state of mind. Yeah. So, uh, what do you conclude from that? Do you see where you conclude? Uh, and the dream, and the dream. In terms of the little girl? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. she can explore physical things. I'm asking you literally in the dream. Oh, how does that conclude? Yeah. Um, Read it, and well, some, then, go ahead. You know, it's a little jumpy here. No, no, um, don't worry about that. I mean, it concludes with Please. my seeing Pierre at the end no, of the table. No, 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 no. The last paragraph on the first page <coughs> deals with the flower. Uh huh. What do you mm. conclude about it, please? Shall I read it for you? The, so there were different plastic containers? Is yeah. That no, 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 no. And some of the smaller roses finish it. Mm. And some of the smaller roses were in, were still in buds. Um, um, mm, oh. Are you on the first page? No, I'm on the second. Yeah. Oh. Here. Oh. Look at that last. Okay. So some of the smaller roses that are still in buds are in little plastic cases. Yeah, yeah. 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 What was it like saying that? 
It was creepy. Creepy? Yeah. Well, what did that mean? They had been cut off from their stem and they were like on display or for sale. And also, what is it? The fact the life. that plastic, what does that do to it? It's a pollutant in the environment. It's just totally contrary to what a but, but, flower is. But a po up to this point, you thought it was a beautiful roses. Now what are you saying? That, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so she's holding this long stemmed rose and then some of the smaller roses are still in bud, so these are... And they're this, in plastic. Yeah, so they've been aborted, right? They haven't even come to flower yet. They're in plastic. And they're in plastic. What does that mean to you? You said quite a bit up to this it's, point. It's... What does that do to the whole image of the roses? It's unnatural. Oh. And oh. actually harmful. Oh. By the way, up to this point, did the girl and you both think of the flowers as being beautiful and natural? Yeah. Oh, yeah. what did that do to that perception? Because you're reflecting that now on the roses. Caused me to pull yeah. back and yeah. kind of contract. Right, right. That's reflecting. See, that's where you're reflecting. Right. And what are the implications, therefore, on your pleasure in seeing the girl finding beauty in the roses? Is there something missing? Well, I'm not able to explore that with her or, s yeah. or follow up. Or no, but if you did, what would happen? She might see the same thing that you're seeing. Yeah. That the plastic does what? What did you say before? It's um, harmful. Oh. To oh. Hmm. Hmm. So from that vision that it can concludes, you could yeah. say the girl was was uh, finish it. Well, the girl was on her own and free down there, exploring, I know. Yeah. and had a... Did she find the rose beautiful? Did you find her appreciation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that you look at it with this reflection, what does uh -huh. that do to that previous insight? Now it turns out to be something that's uh, finished. It. That's cut off. Yeah, and then plastic means what for you? That um, it's it's dead, or it's not going to go yeah. anywhere. Yeah, lost its beauty. Right. Mm. So. But see, there you're allowing yourself to reflect on it and inspect and discover that what you thought and she thought was beautiful turns out now on reflection to be. Well, it's part of a larger thing that's very... Uh, the whole thing, it fits the whole thing. Being yeah, that's just plasticky and yeah. phony and yeah. not true. Yeah, and the whole ceremony and... Yeah. Yeah, good. Curious, isn't it, dreams? But the fact that I get caught up in that whole thing. Yeah, I mean, even though you see it's... It's phony. Phony. From, from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I do kind of pride myself on the fact that I do, I do get caught up in... I do get into those things. Like, I think of it as being open-minded and exploratory and checking things out. And but when you reflect upon it, are these the kinds of things you should be reflecting upon? And exploring. And? And exploring, right? And... Um, Is this where no, your soul wants should, to be or not? No, I don't want to be there. Thank shouldn't you. shouldn't take the time or the exploration. Right. It's not about right. even exploration, it's just... Don't even go there. Right. You got Here. it. Here. Mm. Okay. Here. Sir. Sure. I know you're about to uh. unpack. Yeah, unbu unbuckle, and that's okay with me. I looked at the Derwini papyrus 
Oh, looked, good. I, I looked at this time and had the problem I had the last time we looked at it, which is it's in like 400 little itsy bitsy teensy weensy pieces, and they're trying to pull it together, right? Mm -hmm. But not, not that having been said, there's this guy Janko. Who's a jerk? Go ahead. Busy, but he does make some nice points right. about the level of thinking mm -hmm. and the kind of thinking of the. Um, guy who wrote it, mm -hmm. right? Which is exactly what you've been saying in a way all mm -hmm. along about the Greeks and their reading of the Parmenides, that they're capable of a very sophisticated level of thought. And in the Derweni, the, 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 mm -hmm. the guy is, Janko's take on it is that he's, um, he sees the mythology as only as an analogy to uh, actually physical sciences, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But to say physical science That's is, absurd. is absurd. So he doesn't see that it's metaphysical no. and an allegor no. allegorical. But it supports 100% what you were saying about their view, the, the seeing of analogy and metaphor and the use of allegory and being able to see the mythology just as, as a, not just, but as a mm, framework for the metaphysics or one explains the other. Right. Right? So that was so cool. I thought... Golly, Pierre was right again! <laughs> <laughs> so, it was kind of See, this, this absurdity of keeping mm. this image that since they're approaching something that looks like it can fit into the sciences, ah. therefore they're in that tradition, mm. that is not the case at all. Mm. Because they don't explore, nor are they give a damn about physical causes. Right. They're Very interested in the conditions for physical causes, not causes. Which are metaphysical. Are you talking about Greeks in general? No. Yeah. Wow. Fifth century shifted BC. Like, you can't have the metaphysics without that stuff. Interesting. That's the step away from the realm of becoming. Huh. Because Metaphysics is trying to explain the world of becoming in terms of what must it presuppose for it to be the way it is. And that is describing the condition for things, not the causes. Right? The cause of a candle igniting is because I can get something to light the wick. The conditions are oxygen, there has to be something flammable in the candle. Those are the conditions. That's what they're into. <coughs> what are the conditions for things? Like for you and I to be here talking, they would say, that's interesting that you're doing that. What are the conditions that make that possible? Mm -hmm. Oh, you meant to share certain ideas? Hmm. Must fit into some sense of order. Look what they're doing. Speak the same language. Right. Mm. <clears throat> oh, mm. for us to communicate on simple levels. <clears throat> there may be the role of analogies, that the way he is thinking, the way I think it may be analogous. Mm -hmm. That presupposes that there is a need to communicate further step, the condition for that. But those are not causes. That's the way they pursue. Right. So, that's interesting. So it's like seeing... So it's not scientific. Yeah. As they think that they're the precursors to science. They're not the precursors. That's not what they're doing. Not that they can't come up with some very sophisticated mechanical devices, which they did. They're the first people to come together with a clock, measure and time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First computer, working computer that can match the heavens <coughs> and the oh, movement yeah. of the planets, all by computer. The anti Kythera yeah. device they found under in the Aegean. Uh, right. right. So are, are you saying though? And they were able to develop a sophisticated astronomy, which became a basis for navigation. Still is. So it looked like you were saying that 
one precursor to a dialogue might be that you recognize in the other, in the interlocutor, mm -hmm. a, sorry, a, a position analogical to sure. one that you, so then, then does that represent the logos? That also represents a common, a common rational, thing. ah, and that presupposes logos. Right. Which presupposes what we were talking about right. last night. Yeah. Well, I've been wondering about that. what logos is. Oh. Not, not, you know, how it functions, so to speak, but that's part of what I want to know. But we have descriptions of that. But mm. Who do you recommend on Dovetti? Not Janko, but who? For what? Understanding the, the writer of the Dovetti uh, papyrus. I thought you were doing a very fine job. Well, yeah, but I was just, I, I was reading some of the pages in the Amazon book sales page. I was flipping through the ones I was interested in because then I don't have to buy the book for $45 unless there's right, a reason to. Right. So that came from that page. But that was Jenko, yeah. right? And so you were saying he's kind of a... Well, I, I find some of the direct works he's written about the papyrus are so boring. Of course, they're really heavily into method, methodology. Sure. Right? And yeah, reconstructing right texts and, and all that stuff. Yeah. You can right. download that stuff. Though. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, but I don't know if you can download this book that Janko wrote, which contained the what meta vision of what the who the writer was and right that description is what I was talking about largely. Mm. And I was still it off of yeah. Amazon. Yeah. yeah. I was considering seeing if I can get screenshots and letting you guys have them too. You know what I mean? Because some, I mean, Apple will let you take, give us a kind of screenshot that I could take yes. a screenshot of the yes. page of the book yes. that I don't want to pay for. Yeah, and that's difficult to do. I've tried. Have you? I, I, they I, don't I make you copy for some, uh, for some curious technical reason. Hmm. Or Jeff could get it from UCI. That's doable. If we have, yeah. Sure. If, I don't know. Maybe, let me see if I can get some of the text and you can see if you think it's hey, worthwhile. Uh, maybe Julie could get it. That's true at UCI? Yeah. Yeah, are you familiar with that place? <laughs> yeah. Maybe she could. She'd have to like explore and remember <laughs> and pursue something she's interested in. Really? A goal. Boy. In the non-practical realm. What's sure. the name of the book? I think Derveni Papyrus, but I'll have to look at it. I have it on my computer. That is so crazy, this problem. <laughs>